The T95Z was a very popular box of 2017. It featured the S912 CPU, as well as that it came with some pretty decent hardware. And if you bought it from the likes of maybe Sunvel, then the firmware was not half bad either. But since then, there has been some developments with the firmware, and there has been a new ROM known as Poison ROM produced for these boxes. Now, it may also work on other S912 boxes, but this video will show you how to install it on your T95Z plus Android TV box. My name's Matthew, and you're watching another video by the MXQ Project. So what I need you to check on your T95Z Plus is whether you are currently running Android 7.1.2 Nougat firmware. If you are, great, we can move on to the next part. If not, then you guys who are running older versions, you do need to go into the link in the description, download the latest stock firmware, which is 7.1.2, this stock firmware also has TWRP pre-installed onto it, and then you need to use the USB burning tool to actually install that firmware. It's really important because we're gonna be using the bootloader from that stock firmware to run Poison ROM. If you have older versions and you try and install Poison ROM, there's a good chance a lot of issues are gonna come your way. So you need to do that process now, and I'm gonna be showing you in this video basically because we've shown so many times how to use USB burning tool on this on this channel so you can check out other videos if you want to anyway if you've done that or if you already have 7.1.2 stock firmware on your device already we can move on to the next part okay so whether you have just installed 7.1.2 stock firmware onto your t95z or you already have it on your box we need to boot into twrp now twrp is already pre-installed on stock firmware that's downloaded off the, in the links in the description. And you guys that have just flashed it already have it. If you haven't, and you've already got it on your box, the stock firmware that is, you need to place TWRP, which again is available in the links in the description. You need to place that file onto an SD card and rename it to recovery. You also need to place Poison ROM onto that SD card and then boot into it so to boot into it you've got two different ways of actually doing it so the first way is to simply place a toothpick or something into your av port and hold it in and then apply power or the next part is simply install terminal app off the play store and now that's a simple interface where we can type in commands and then what you need to do is you need to type in su and then press enter and then pre type in reboot update and then again press enter and that should restart the box and then enter you into TWRP. So the next part is really quite simple. All you need to do is swipe across and allow modifications. You might need to use a mouse with this. It's probably the best way you're gonna be using TWRP or some air mouse or something like that. Once you've done that, you need to go down to select storage and this is basically going to point TWRP in the right direction of where Poison ROM is. Select your micro SD card and then you'll see poisonrom.zip in there. Click on that and then again, install and then that's it. You are completed and all you need to do now is leave it alone, allow it to install. It should take 5-10 minutes or something like that and then it will eventually boot into Poison ROM. So the whole point of Poison ROM is to bring a much more polished piece of firmware to your T95Z Android device. This Poison ROM will also run on some other S912 devices. I've tried it on a box known as the Yugu's AM3 and it runs, unfortunately Wi-Fi doesn't work on it, but it just goes to show that this Poison ROM will work on other S912 devices. So play around with it and tell me what you think about it in the comments section below. My name is Matthew and you've been watching another video by the MXQ Project. Don't forget to check out the website mxqproject.com, the Facebook group, and of course, if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and we shall see you very soon.